The powiat is made up of nine communes, which include the city of Oświęcim, four urban rural communes, Helmek, Brzeszcze, Kenty, Zator, and four rural communes, Osiek, Oświęcim, Polanka Wielka, Przeciszów. With about 155,000 inhabitants, it is one of the most populous districts of the Mała Polska province. This small homeland, where modernity intertwines with tradition, draws on the richness of local culture. The heart of the district is its capital, Oświęcim, a proud city with over 800 years of history, one of the most important economic and cultural centers in Mała Polska. It is here that the county office has its seat. Since November 2018, it has been managed by the starost Marcin Nigella, an entrepreneur and local government official from Kenty. He is supported in his daily duties by Deputy Councillor Paweł Kobielusz, a local government official associated with Oświęcim, a former athlete and until recently a teacher and educator. Both gentlemen, supported by members of the County Council, take care of the comprehensive, sustainable development of the district and its inhabitants. Oshvienshim County is an active player in the economic field. During the last 20 years, the expenditure from the county's budget exceeded 2 billion 566 million PLN. Thanks to this, and in cooperation with municipalities and with the use of government and European funds, key road routes, educational and sports facilities, cultural institutions and medical facilities are being modernized. One of the most important long-term investments is the expansion of the Special Educational and Rearing Centre in Oshvienshim, where children and young people with special educational needs will soon be able to learn and be rehabilitated in comfortable conditions. An important place on the map of the county is occupied by the hospital in Oshvienshim. Over the past few years, thanks to the support of the Oshvienshim district and the acquisition of funds from other sources by the management of the clinic, it has been possible to thoroughly modernize hospital wards, including obstetricians, and equip the district institution with highly specialized equipment, including magnetic resonance imaging and tomography. Schools are the pride of the Oshvienshim county. The high standard of teaching goes hand in hand with the comprehensive modernization of school buildings, including their thermal modernization. On a daily basis, students use modern scientific aids, and young people educated in sports classes train in functional facilities, such as the Oshvienshim swimming pool, expanded by the local government or the nearby ice hall. These and many other sports arenas, including the halls in Kente, Brzeszcze and Helmek, are also used by the residents of the county. Pitches and tennis courts are also available. It is worth mentioning that in the region there are about a hundred associations and organizations of physical culture. Picturesque, well-maintained and expanded cycling and walking routes allow you to combine active recreation with exploring the charming corners of the region. Trails available for cyclists and hikers run through the most interesting and beautiful corners of the Oshvienshim County. The Oshvienshim area is also a perfect place to spend free time for history enthusiasts and nature lovers. The free time industry is developing more and more dynamically, which has translated into an exponential increase in the number of tourists visiting our county. The flagship projects, also recognizable outside the Oshvienshim area, are the largest and most modern amusement park in Poland, Energielandia in Zator, the Molo Center in Osiek, and the newly created Scandinavia Resort Complex in Zator. Together with the creation of these places, the hotel market is developing dynamically in the county, contributing to the creation of new jobs. Tourists are also keen to visit numerous monuments scattered throughout our county, including charming wooden churches and the world-famous Auschwitz-Birkenau Memorial Site. Many newcomers from other parts of the country have bound their fate with the Oshvienshim district, for good and for bad, and their children and grandchildren were born here. It is a region full of people proud of the interesting history of this place and its unmistakable tradition, optimistically looking to the future. It is our small homeland, the most important place and point of reference in a dynamically changing world.